or homelessness are unfortunate due to circumstances beyond their control. In other situations, the homelessness is due to the person's own undoing. Like, if they talk to me, if they come up to ask me for money or something like this, you know, I'll talk to them or something like that. But and if, if they just, like, you know, just stay there and put their hand out, I don't bother. It's a cry for help. You know, people even drink out of trash can, they need help. America is one of the richest countries in this world, and you should be doing more for the homeless people. who are down on their luck and in certain circumstances aren't able to uh, help themselves out. Just, uh, honestly, I don't feel bad for them. I'm a human being just like anybody else. You don't talk about, oh, he's a bum. He's a fuck out of here. I ain't no goddamn bum. I'm a human being just like you and anybody else. My name is Clinton Bynum. Colonel P. Bynum. I'm Douglas Jackson. My name is Homeless Poet. My first name is Kirk. Okay. K-I-R-K. Just Jimmy. That's, I don't know any last name. My parents never gave me no ID or anything. I'd ask about it, but they wouldn't tell me nothing. I, I chose to go homeless because I was a burden. Um, what caused my homelessness was a breakup between me, me and my wife. I had a wife, I had two kids, but divorce, the divorce put me under. I've been homeless since um, after my mother died in November 97. I don't really see any difference between being homeless and the way I used to live when I lived with my father and my mother a long time ago. Homelessness is a state of mind. Homeless is a state of being. There's a difference. Homelessness is where you're stuck there. You're not getting out. You have no hope. Homeless, being homeless, you're just fucked up and ain't on the lease. You know, I mean, I have a piece of plastic here. That's like a house. I'm presently homeless, but I ride the bus back and forth to Mohegan Sun. It's a casino in Connecticut, so basically you can say I live on the bus. I get Social Security, but that ain't enough. But that ain't enough for them. But I, or I'm a bum. I cannot be a bum. I can't get money. So I collected cans, and I earned about ten dollars collecting cans today, which isn't a lot of money. It's just enough to get me a ticket back to Mohegan Sun. I got a nail file, but the clippers were too heavy. I threw them out. We do it on the concrete. This isn't real concrete, I guess, but that'll file them down pretty good. At times when it's night, I would eat out of the garbage, or I would go to the donut, Dunkin' Donuts, and wait till they throw the donuts out. And I would wait for people to pass by so they don't see me going in the garbage you know, to get the food. I got my food from other places, like trucks deliver it. And then there's garbage bags. Bakeries throw out perfectly good food. Um, I would, would eat out the garbage because I didn't have time enough to go to the, uh, to the soup kitchens that's around. It gets easier. You get to learn where the free stuff is. And it gets easier. The first winter is the worst, the coldest, the outside. Second winter, you find that place to stay, maybe like the Bowery Mission, something like that. They'll let you sleep on the chapel floor if it's thick, it's cold. The cop come down and says, Oh, we want you to, uh, Mr. Lee, I want you guys to speak for what? I want to buy, I'm going to get something to eat. I don't want no, I don't want no cop to stop me for that. I'm going to give me something to eat, that's all I want. I don't want nothing for nobody. Uh, I don't sleep because the cops don't want me sleeping. Even if I'm sitting on a bench, they don't want me to close my eyes, so... I don't really sleep at night. I'll sleep in the day, like, sitting up on the bench, laid back, like... 
you know, then the cops will let me do it in the daytime. No, the police didn't arrest me. Um, I put that on myself. You know, I ain't got a problem with um, police officers, any of them. They got their life to live, and I got my life that, that I chose to live. <laughs> You're playing, right? I guess nothing from the government, though. Nothing. I don't even get food stamps. I guess nothing from the government. Bloomberg is the one that's taking everything from everybody. He don't give a fuck about you and you and nobody else. But you taking out the poor people's mouth and giving it to somebody who don't need it. Um, I, I do believe that they should do more. Because right now they're starting to cut down on a lot of programs. I'm not really into drugs or alcohol. It's called Cisco. And it has 18% alcohol in it. You'll get drunk if you drink this. I completed a few rehabs, quite a few rehabs, over and over again since 91. I eat coffee raw, you know, it helps a lot. And when it gets cold and miserable and wet and rainy, I think it gets you stoned to some degree, but keeps you hanging in there and you don't feel so bad. I would encourage you to stay sober and not to drink. Because if you stay sober, your life will improve. Don't drink and don't gamble. Don't be like me. I do roll AIDS as, as a drug, but that's more experimental. I kind of figure it's some kind of drug like LSD or something. And tobacco, I get that free off the sidewalk, cigarettes and It's not good for you. Don't try it. Stay away from it. Encourage your kids to do the same. Because I'm a father myself. I'm just not in my son's life now because of my situation. But I'll be there soon for you, Alvon. And Daddy loves you. Uh, do we have permission to uh, use this in the movie? You got permission. Yeah, you have permission to uh, use this uh, interview for whatever you like, yeah. You have permission. Yeah, use it. I'd like to ask you a question. Uh, what, what is a documentary? Homelessness. Homelessness is a state of mind where in time with a quick fix the blind can see. With a glass pipe, a little brillo, and something white the deaf can hear. But it's not the fear of the whisper in the ear, nor the fear of the whisper in the head, but the fear of being dead because they don't understand what that whisper said. You see, homelessness is a disease in America, but being homeless is different. Being homeless is used to more or less compress the stress of the rest who feel blessed when they see the homeless. But that same feeling of being blessed might stress their depression and rapidly decrease the thump in their chest if they ever run across homelessness with no feet on their legs. Insane. Insane is the pain of homeless people who feel nothing but rain. They see their son, but there's no sign there to claim. The nest has been put at the end of homeless when that little flicker of a candle is blown out and all their hope was caught up in smoke and blown away in a breeze. All that is left is the scent of what might have been in the life of sin. S-S-E-N. Nest, spelled backwards at the end of homeless, spells homeless sin. You see, homeless sin is between homeless and homelessness because homelessness is where a needle is stuck in their flesh. But homeless sin is what put it there with the lack of hope after being homeless. It is the sin of the homeless. Now homeless is where I'm at, not standing still, but on a struggle to come up while eating chitlins. And in my comedy, I see gutless pigs walk past me every day, acting like they're the predator and not the prey. Thinking they are better than me, but they can never see the truth of harmony that lies within me. I'm no longer homeless in my head. I am past that. I'm now a homeless success, so you'll never see me stuck in homelessness.